Hi guys, Rachie Bob here. Welcome to this Sims mobile video in which I'm going to show you how to unofficially add balconies to your lots, to your houses, to your builds, whatever. It's a glitch. It's been in the game for a very long time. It's one of those great glitches that adds to the game in ways that haven't been added officially yet. But it is kind of a tricky one. It's been a long time since I covered a glitch on this channel, but I thought this one was definitely worthy of being shared because it's easy once you get the hang of it and it's gonna really accelerate your builds. And there's so much more you can do with this glitch as well. If I just go over to this eco retreat lot, you can see I've been messing around with it. I've put objects within objects. Obviously it's flickering because it's not meant to be there. Those are the tesseract square things and I've also got floating items which is the capability that's going to allow me to make a balcony but what I'll do is go back to the other lot so you can see how this looks on a well-formed lot. This is definitely not a complete build but balconies could definitely add to it so let me show you how we do this here. So the first thing we need to do is grab a floor tile so I'm just going to go into outdoor items. You can do this with any item. It doesn't have to be a floor tile. I'm just starting with floor tile because we want our balcony to have a floor. So we'll go for this garden stroll stone tile. I've got the most of those. And I'm going to place it down here. This is where I want the balcony to be above this section. So I place it on the floor below and just tap tick and that's placed and then in order to move it up I need to select it again and then what I'm going to do is tap the X followed very quickly by the up arrow on the floor button and that's going to trick it into thinking that it's going up but doesn't give a chance to think basically so it's very quick tap tap And that's going to take it up a level. You see it's jumped up. Now it might take you a few attempts to get it, but it does work. My game isn't cracked or anything like that. It's not an APK. It's a, just a regular game. And it works. So persevere. It took me a while to get it to actually work. But yeah, you can see, look how glitchy it is. Even the palm tree looks like it's in front of it. It doesn't quite understand what's going on. So, you know, do this at your own risk. It's not official by any means, but it is a great way just to get that balcony look. So let's add a couple of new tiles here. You see there's no way I could have placed that otherwise. But if we go down, one thing to note is you have to place it on the level that it can be placed first. So I have to place it here first. And I won't be able to do that with this without moving the stone tile that's already there. So it's definitely worth fleshing out your house before you work on that bottom floor. So if I place this one here and just get rid of what's there, I can then tap on it, work the magic again so it's X and up. There we go. And that's plopped there. But like I say, because I had to do that, I've lost my floor tile down below. So what I'm going to do is just go into recent and go down and pop that back. It doesn't stop you placing anything underneath it. it. Just means that while you're placing, you're gonna lose that space. So I'm gonna place this one here just so we've got a complete balcony here. Tap, tick, then select it again, cross and up. There we go. That's our balcony up ahead, obviously. We want to have a little barrier around there, a little bit of fencing. And you can use all kinds of things for that. You could use like the fencing that we've got around here that might be a little large. Most people seem to adapt other objects. You see a lot of end tables and all that kind of stuff. Whatever you feel could be used in this situation. I think it might be fun actually to have, I mean, you can see I can't do that, physically cannot do that, but I can place that there. But because my little fence is in the way, it's not working out. So what I'm going to do is just plop, ah, no, plop these over here. 
everything that's sort of around it for now. Just move it out of the way so I can focus on the area around this. That's the kind of placement that I want and you can see that the stone tile is lighting up yellow. That's nothing to worry about because this is kind of like having the move objects cheat on The Sims 4. It doesn't matter. If you do this cheat, you can place anything anywhere. So let's place it there and then select it again and move it up. Oh, I did it first time that time. You have no idea how long the other takes took. <laughs> And you can see it's placed it exactly on the edge of that balcony. So now let's get another one. Place it where we think it should go. That's where I want it to go. Move it down. Tap the tick. Select it again. And then X and up. There we go. I think this is going to look so good. Wow, how fancy. Now I want a little bit of a fence going around. Like I said, you could have whatever you want. You can use a proper fence, but I think they tend to be a little bit high. And there's just so many other items that when you think you can mix and match and put things within other things, you could probably find something very cool to give the effect of a little balcony fence. Like this, for example, this surgical table. I could use that as a little balcony. I think that's quite cool. Very adaptable item. I obviously want to make sure it's attached. So I'm going to place it there. I'll pop it down, place it, and then once again, tap it. Crossing up. There we go. It's in there. Then I'll purchase another one. Place it where I want it to be. In the right colour. Go down and tick select it, cross it up and pop that one there as well. And then the same again. And then we have a complete fronted area of the balcony. Oh, it looks so good. Then just to finish it, I'll pop a couple down the side. Like I say as well, you don't need to use this glitch for balconies. Oh no, it's going to be too big for that one. Well, that's not too bad. Okay, for the sake of the video, I'm going to let this bit slide and put it there. I think that's probably the best placement. There we go. It's not, not the greatest. I maybe should have pushed that out a bit. Hmm. Would I have it there, do you think? Maybe that's a little better. Let's try that. Yeah, I guess that's a little better. Possibly not got the placement of that corner bit right. I might go back to that. Is it overlapping? Okay, I'll just move it there. A minute, just shift these over. There we go. There we go. Okay, my balcony size isn't that great. I've got a bit overlapping there. And in fact, I am going to move that. That's really annoying. I'll move it in. Uh, there we go. I think that looks a little better. Yeah, so there we have our balcony. Well, first of all, just for the sake of making this look a little nicer. I'm going to put a really impressive door on the front there. And because that's overlapping on the stone tiles, it's not letting me do it. But again, this is where you can bring in this function, move it where you can, down below, up above, whichever suits you, and then cross and arrow it to the floor you need it to go to. There we go, a lovely door. Now I'm going to put a little chair on here. So I'll just go into the living room and pick a nice little chair. You'll do. A little breezy boho number. I'll just place it down here and then move it up. There we go. There's a little balcony with that little chair on it. I'm not saying we can use 
everything on a balcony. The Sims not stupid, <laughs> but you can make some nice looking builds with this. Very nice looking and um, just take your game up a notch. I'm going to put everything back real quick. There we go. So that's basically how you can put anything anywhere, but also how you can add balconies to your builds. The possibilities are literally endless with this. It's really great. But also if I just pop over to the eco retreat that was at, at the beginning, it's really helpful for, like I've said, with this block here. So it's helpful for putting something like, for example, this could not have gone outside. That's that's using the balcony technique. But if I want to put that there and it won't let me, if I go up, place it, and I've got a room up here so I can place it, which I can get rid of later, I can then tap that and use the same system to move it down. So X and down and it moves it into that place where it shouldn't technically be able to be put. So you can imagine what you could build with that. So it just allows you to do things that you couldn't do before. It's a great working glitch. And yeah, hopefully they keep it in because glitches like this are really useful and it's lovely to see the creativity that comes out of the community with them. So please do let me know your thoughts and questions down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video has been helpful to you and I'll see you again soon. Bye.